you guys and welcome back to my channel my name is natalie for those of you that are new here and for today's video i have a really exciting video that i've been looking forward to filming for a while now so i am gonna be showing you guys what i have in my backpack that i take to nursing school i just wanted to um share this video with, with you guys for anyone that's interested maybe you're looking into nursing school and you just like watching nursing school content or you know maybe you're in nursing school too and just want to see what other people are carrying so this is my backpack and she is so gorgeous i just got her for christmas and i begged and begged and begged for this backpack um she's literally gorgeous so it's a north face jester i believe and it's all black but it has the prettiest rose gold uh, details on this so the north face logo is rose gold and also the zippers are rose gold i literally think that she is so gorgeous and this is my new baby and i will be carrying her for the rest of my life my last backpack was a jansport backpack and i had literally been using that backpack since i was a junior in high school i am now about to be a senior in college so I was with that backpack through thick and thin and so I'm so excited to finally have this one. So yeah you guys if you are interested in seeing what I have in my nursing school backpack then please keep on watching and also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more nursing school content. So in this backpack there's two main compartments. There's this one on the top right here in the front and then the other one is the big compartment where I put like my laptop, my iPad, and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and start with the little compartment in the front. So this is what the front of the backpack looks like. It has some straps right here. Okay, so the first pocket is this little compartment up here. And it's actually on the top. So it doesn't actually go all the way to the bottom with the rest of the backpack. It's just right here. Honestly, this is the cutest pocket. I think it's so cute every time that I open it up. But here she is. So I kind of made this compartment like my pens and pencils, um, also like where I have like my chargers, um, and also where I'm going to be keeping my wallet, my keys, things like that. So the first thing that we have in here is my keys and my wallet. I just have this little, um, this little coach wallet that's also a keychain. Um, I actually got this little strap from Amazon to make it like cohesive I guess um but yeah this is what the wallet looks like and then so in my wallet I have my student ID I also have a Target gift card and I also have my debit card and then on this side I have my ID and honestly I need to get this renewed because I feel like I don't look anything like this anymore. I took this in 2020 so I was a freshman in college. And then on the inside I just have a little bit of cash and then I guess I have some movie tickets from a movie that I went to go see. And then some other things that I have on my keychain are just my car keys, my gym pass, and then um, I also have this really pretty keychain that my Thea gave me. Isn't it so cute? And it's, oh, I just noticed that it's, they're both rose gold. Ah, so cute. Thea yeah, just says my name. And then the next thing that I have in here is this cute little pouch that my mom gave me. It says Nurse Survival Kit. So I'm going to show you what's in my Nurse Survival Kit. The first thing that I have in my Survival Kit is of course chapstick i'm personally an eos girl and the reason why i love this chapstick so much is because it looks like it's a lip gloss too but it's not and the next thing i have in my survival kit is of course tampons because you know always need backup so yeah i have three in here okay and then the next thing i have <laughs> is an actual lip gloss this one, I it's all smeared off, but this is from Lancome, and I love this lip gloss. It's just, like, so pink, so pretty. And then the next thing I have is an EOS chapstick. I have so many, like, lip products in here. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. Okay, and then the next thing that I have is a little bottle of lotion. This is the lotion that I use every day on my face. Um, it's the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I use this one because it doesn't have any fragrance and personally I think that it's just like a good like daily moisturizer. It's not too thin, not too thick and um, I just carry this around with me because you never know uh, when your hands get dry. We do use a lot of hand sanitizer in school so our hands do dry out pretty easily 
and yeah so i just think that is really helpful to carry this around and then the next thing that i have is a chongo because you need it especially in nursing school like we're always getting in trouble about our hair so always have to have something to uh, put it up because i've gotten in trouble so many times and like i'll literally have my hair in a ponytail but because my hair is so long they want it in a bun so always keep a chongo in nursing school you need it and the next thing that i have <laughs> this one's kind of funny but i have a whole bunch of alcohol swabs and i took these from school like whenever we're doing like our skills class or you know just um practicing our skills or maybe like i'm in open lab or something like that we're, we're always using these and i stock up on them because i don't know why i just really really like having these in my in my bag like you never know when you need to clean something and nursing school is literally loaded with these so i just take them <laughs> and then the next thing that i have is a tylenol this is actually what my mom had put in this nursing survival kit maybe it could be for cramps maybe it could be like you know just like body aches in general so last but not least i have a starbucks gift card <laughs> of course i have a starbucks gift card like why wouldn't i it's a brand new one that i got for christmas and i think it's literally just perfect to keep in here because if this is literally my survival kit and um i'm usually not a coffee drinker like that i never have been but ever since i've been in nursing school it's definitely catching up to me and me and my friends love to go to our little starbucks trips this is definitely needed in your survival kit we stay long hours at the nursing school we stay long hours at the coffee shop studying for our exams and even at home we're just studying 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 so Yes, you need this. Okay, now the next thing that I have in here is this really cute hand sanitizer that I got for Christmas last year. My Thea actually gave it to me. So it's just like a Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer. But the cover is literally hot pink scrubs with the little stethoscope. Like, are you kidding me? This is so cute. And then the next thing that I have is my nursing ID badge. So... Um, I still have my old ID badge on here from my last clinical rotation. So this is actually, the one in the back is actually expired. Um, but this is my nursing badge to get into the School of Nursing. Um, this is just the one for UT. I took this picture last year. Oh my gosh, whenever I was a sophomore. What semester was I in? Okay, so I'm about to be a senior, uh, my, I'm about to be an S1, and this one I was a soft 2, so literally going on two years ago, which is actually kind of crazy. And then my other badge is from last semester when I did my maternity rotation at St. David's, so we had to get our own ID, and this picture is literally atrocious, but whatever. But yeah, so this is my little badge that I have to wear on me at all times, and this, um id holder my mom gave it to me and this always has to stay on me because without it i cannot do my clinical rotations and i cannot get into the nursing building so this is a necessity i have to have this on me at all times okay and then the next thing that i have in this pouch is a watch and this one has the second hand on it for whenever we take vitals um, I like to wear this especially whenever I'm in the clinical settings because I don't want to keep like taking out my phone and checking the time so I have this on me and we absolutely need it for the vitals like whenever we're checking heart rate or respirations or blood pressure I mean we have the machines now but um, a lot of our instructors like us to practice the old-fashioned way so like last semester when I had my video performance exam, I had to wear this so, so I could keep track of like how long I was cleaning the vial with an alcohol because they were literally down to the seconds. But yeah, you definitely need this in nursing school. I always forget this. I'm really bad about wearing this. So I'm definitely keeping this in my backpack at all times um, because if I just have it with my jewelry, I'm not going to remember to put it on before I leave the house. So I'd rather just have it in my backpack. And then the next thing that I have is my Apple Pencil this is my baby this has literally gotten me through lectures and exams and semesters and assignments and note taking this here is magical i owe my entire degree to this apple pencil my ipad chick-fil-a and lo-fi hip-hop on youtube and like if this is how you study then you know what i'm talking about it's like 
the like raindrops lo-fi music on youtube like i can't listen to like lyrics whenever i'm studying i have to be like like it has to be like background noise and if i start hearing noise like voices then it's just gonna distract me but lo-fi study music on youtube has been my lifesaver and so has this apple pencil and then the next thing that i have in this pouch is just all my pens my highlighters and my colorful pens um, I actually want to go to the store and get some new ones just because I've lost them over time. And also I want some like new colors. But these are my colorful pens. And then I also have all my highlighters. And I love these highlighters. Super bright. These are the Big Bright Liner. So I highlight my flashcards. I take a lot of notes with my Apple Pencil and my iPad. So this is more for like if I want to make flashcards or if I have like a physical piece of paper in front of me. I use this for whenever I'm reading. I do like to carry my Bible around with me. And if I ever do have the free time or um, especially like late at night before I'm going to bed, I do like to pull out my highlighters. And yeah, I like to highlight my favorite scriptures. And then the last thing that I have for my pens and pencils is um, two black pens. Oh, and I forgot to mention, another reason why I love to carry around um, colorful pens or colorful highlighters is because I am an avid planner user. And so I like to make my schedule and the things that I write in my planner very colorful, very pretty. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you in this compartment on the top is this zipper right here. So there's actually one like behind my pencils and it's just a little pocket and this is where I like to keep all of my chargers. So the first one I have is my charger for my iPad or my iPhone. So this is what charges my phone. It charges my iPad and it also charges my AirPods. So this one is definitely a necessity. And I actually have the 10 foot charger. So this one is super, super long. So whenever I'm on campus and I'm at a table or we're at a coffee shop, this definitely reaches everywhere and I can always get my stuff charged. Um, just because sometimes the outlets can be kind of scarce. So and then my second charger that I have is the charger for my MacBook. So this one is the newer Apple charger. This is the USB-C. But this is also a longer one, so it's going to come in handy. I just got my MacBook Air, and I freaking love it, and I can't wait to use it this semester. It was my gift to myself, and yeah. And the last thing that I have in this pocket is my AirPods. So this is the case that I have for my AirPods. It's a little boba thing. Please excuse her. She's a little dirty. I've been, she's been with me throughout all of college. She's the one and only AirPod case I've ever had. And I used to be obsessed with boba. So yeah, this is my, um, this is my AirPod case. If there's one thing I can recommend for college, it's definitely AirPods because you can plug into your iPad. You can plug into your, uh, your MacBook. You can plug into your phone. So if I want to watch lectures on my iPad um, I can just plug these in real quick, or maybe I'm in between some classes and I want to listen to music, or I'm walking on campus, I need my AirPods on me. So, yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next part of the backpack, which is the big compartment. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that this backpack also has water bottle holders on both sides, which I didn't have in my last backpack, so I'm really excited for that one because I do like to carry my big water bottle around with me. So I'm going to go ahead and open the big compartment, and this is where I have my bigger things. So this is what it looks like inside. Definitely don't have as much as the little pocket, but these are definitely important things that I want to make sure are protected and nice and safe in here. The first thing that I have in here is my planner, and I just bought this one from work. Um, for those of you who don't know, I work at Target, so I was eyeing this planner for the longest time when I was working at registers because I was like right in front of like the shelf where they had all the planners and I wanted this one specifically like I just feel like this is so my style and I just I love a cute little planner this is what the inside looks like and like I said I am an avid planner user um, I have to write down my assignments I have to write down what is due for the day what I gotta do today um, I check it every single day during the semester so yeah, I definitely had to get a new planner with the new year here. And then the cool thing about this planner is that it has like 
pockets here. Um, I remember with my last planner, I had some flashcards for like fluids and electrolytes. So I always kept it in this pocket. And let me tell you, for those of you that are in nursing school, you need to remember your values and you need to remember your electrolytes and fluids because it will always come back and haunt you. <laughs> so if you want to make flashcards for all your electrolytes and your fluids and things like that, I would definitely keep it on you. Don't throw them away. Don't throw them away because it's been coming back semester after semester. So um, another cool thing with this is there was this page where I like... It wanted me to do like some type of like mind mapping, but instead I told my family members to write a cute little message for me so I can always look back on. I haven't gotten to everyone yet, but I still need to get my dad, I still need to get my grandparents, and um, so all I have is my mom, my brother, and uh, my stepdad. So yeah, it, I think it was really cute. I just wanted all my family members to sign it. So if I'm ever having like a stressful day or a stressful week, I can always go back and look at the motivational things they've written for me. And so I can always know that like I'm loved and I'm doing this for a reason and I have people to support me. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute. And I can't wait to have all my fam family members sign it. Even my friends. I'm going to tell my friends in school to sign it. But um, yeah, I feel like I'm going all into depth about my planner, but... I love a good planner just because we there's just so much going on in nursing school and I need somewhere to like gather my thoughts and organize my day, organize my week because if I were just to go off the top of my head, I'd probably be failing and I probably would have failed a semester or two already. Okay, and then the next thing that I have in here is like I said, I do like to carry around my Bible with me. I like to have it with me because I do like to read at least a page or two a day. Um, it's something that I've been trying to set my mind to and a goal that I've been trying to accomplish. And then the next thing that I have is my electronics. So my baby right here, my iPad. Um, I'm not sure what iPad this is, um, but this is like one of the older ones. It still has like the button on the bottom, the home button. This is my baby. She's been with me through three years of college now and she's still going strong and she has gotten me through so many exams, so many presentations, so many classes, so many assignments. I love, love, love my iPad. Um, honestly, if I could choose a MacBook or an iPad, I would get the iPad all the way. Um, I went three years with just like a normal PC and all I used my PC for was to like write essays and take my exams like online. I definitely recommend getting an iPad. Um, if anyone is wondering, I did get this case off of Amazon. I'm not sure what I looked up, but I just honestly think that this is so pretty and um, this is definitely my style. The little cherry blossoms, like this is just so gorgeous. And then it has like a little flap here for me to put my pencil. And yeah, um, I have the rose gold iPad. My dad engraved Natalie Rodriguez RN on the back of my iPad. So just a little manifestation. Another cool thing about this case is that I can like set it up like this. So if I want to watch a lecture or if I want to watch YouTube in between classes or Netflix or something like that, um, I just go like this or I can write my little notes. And the very last thing that I have in my backpack is my macbook air so i actually just got this in november i think i took my final on it for last semester but this is going to be officially my first full semester of using my macbook air i'm so excited about it i got it specifically for youtube because i wanted to start editing my videos and i wanted my videos to be better quality i really wanted to invest in myself and then also i've really been considering grad school in the near future so i'm definitely going to need a good reliable laptop to do classes or to write essays and i think that it was just a great investment for me i'm very proud of myself so this is what my macbook looks like i freaking love her she's been editing youtube videos she took an exam with me she's been on amazon and for anyone wondering this pink case is from amazon Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know how I forgot this. I completely forgot to put this in my backpack. But my very last thing that I for sure um, will be taking with me in my backpack every day is for sure my stethoscope. And this is also my pouch for my blood pressure cuff. So in here, I have um, 
my flashlight for the pupils. I also have my blood pressure cuff, which matches my pouch. And guys, fun fact, this pouch was actually my mom's when she went through nursing school and she passed it down to me. It's a little matching purple one. And she also passed down this stethoscope to me. I believe she said my grandma had bought it for her. But it is a Litman, so it definitely is like an expensive, like good quality um, stethoscope. So I'm so, so, so grateful that um, my mom was able to pass these down to me because my school did require us to buy our own. So thank you so much to my mom for passing this down to me. I still use this. Um, I also have my pulse ox in here. And then what else do I have in here? I have some shears. And then... I told you guys, like I literally collect these and I hoard these because you never know when you need it. And also, if you're using a stethoscope and you're going to be like putting it on people, you need to carry these with you because we do need to clean our stethoscope between every use because you don't want to spread infection. So yeah, when I tell you guys that these are everywhere, these are literally everywhere. Like I have them in my backpack. I have them in my blood pressure pouch. I and this was something that I had to take to school uh, with me every single day when I was in my health assessment class. So that's where we were learning how to take vitals, how to do a head to toe assessment. So we would have to bring this to class every day. It's not so much of a necessity now, um, just because we're doing clinicals now. So I won't necessarily be taking the blood pressure cup, but I do have to take my stethoscope with me um to every single clinical at least that's how it's been for every semester okay you guys so that is all that i have for today's video i don't have too much in my backpack right now just because the semester hasn't started yet so i'm sure as the weeks go on i'm gonna have like papers in here masks in here probably some trash but yeah i just wanted to show you guys what i have in my backpack so far these are the necessities that i know i'm gonna need for right now and i'm so excited about my new backpack i'm super excited for the semester that's about to start i have exactly a week left so i'm definitely getting ready and packing for everything and thank you so much for watching today's video if you would like to see more content of this semester then definitely don't forget to subscribe i'm actually gonna be in my pediatric clinical this semester so so if peas is something that you think you're interested in, then definitely don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I, I will have all my socials in the description. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!